everyone. It's Ms. Rath. I just want to wish you a happy May and a happy Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Um, I have a great story to share with you today. It's about eating something delicious. It's called Amy Wu and the Perfect Bao. Uh, it's by author Kat Zhang and it's illustrated by Charlene uh, Chua. And um, I don't know if you know what a bao is, but in case you don't, I wanted to explain that it is a Chinese dumpling that is filled with um, something sweet or savory. Um, and let's go ahead and start our story. There's some bao. And there's a little tip for the pronunciation of bao. So it says bow like bow, like bowing, like the kitty's bowing. Okay, so that's how you say it, bow. And it's telling you here, not like bow. Oh, the kitty's wearing a bow, but we don't say it like bow. We say it like bow. Oh, there's Amy Wu. And she's got her eyes on a perfect bow. Amy can do a lot of things. She can brush her teeth. She can tie her shoe. She can even do both at the same time, sort of. But there's one thing Amy cannot, cannot do. She cannot make the perfect bow. Sometimes they come out too small, and sometimes they come out too big. Sometimes she adds too much filling, sometimes not enough, and sometimes they fall apart before they even get into her mouth. Oh no! Amy's mom and dad make perfect bow. So does her grandma. The bow are soft and fluffy, and so, so delicious. Amy could eat them all day, and sometimes she does. Today, Amy is going to do it. She's going to make the world's most perfect bow. Bow making is an all day event. Amy's dad starts in the morning mixing the ingredients for the dough. Then it's time to knead, knead, knead. He punches the dough, he punches the dough. Amy gives it a try too. Punch, punch, punch. That was kind of fun. They leave the dough to rise. Amy keeps an eye on it just in case and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. Amy's dad squishes the dough down just in time. He rolls it and cuts it into pieces. Meanwhile, Amy's mom seasons meat for the filling. Ooh, what are some of the things that she's going to season the meat filling with? Looks like some garlic and some mushrooms and some ginger and some pepper and salt. And look on the stove, there's steam rising up. And I bet it smells really good with all the seasonings and flavor in it. Everyone gathers around the table and rolls up their sleeves. It is time to get to work. Amy's first bow turns out a little funny, and so does the second. It's hard to know how much filling to add. Too little and the bow is sad and empty too much and oops it's also hard to pinch the bow shut just right pinch 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 look it looks like on uh, her face you can see how hard she's concentrating to try to get the pinching just right amy watches her mom make a perfect bow and she watches her dad make a perfect bow what do you think about her grandma 
Do you think she could make a perfect bow? Oh, looks like she maybe even made two. Look at that. They all try to teach her. Roll out the dough like this, says Amy's dad. Use just enough filling, says Amy's mom. Pinch, 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 says Amy's grandma. How do you think she's feeling about everyone telling her how to do it? But Amy's bow just aren't the same. They are too empty or too fat. They have holes in them and they leak. Maybe today won't be the day after all. Maybe Amy just can't make a perfect bow. Um, how do you think it looks like Amy's feeling in that picture? And what is her friend the cat trying to do to make her feel better? But then Amy has an idea. The pieces of dough were cut for grown-up hands, but Amy's hands are very small. She whispers her idea into her grandma's ear. Amy's grandma cuts each piece of dough into two smaller pieces, Amy-sized pieces, and now they fit perfectly in Amy's palms. Carefully, Amy rolls the dough so it's thicker on the inside and thinner at the edges. She adds just the right amount of that meat filling. She pinch, pinch, pinches it shut. And there it is, Amy's perfect bow. Wow, look at that. She looks pretty happy, huh? She makes another and another and even more after that. It's even one for the cat's head. She is a bow making master. Soon all the dough and the filling are gone. Everyone is tired, but they're not done yet. Amy's grandma boils a big pot of water. It's time to steam the bow. Amy keeps an eye on the steamer just in case. All her perfect bow and all the imperfect ones too are snug inside. The bow are done. Amy's mom lifts the lid off the steamer and whoosh! Out comes a big puff of steam. Amy can't see anything at all. How do you think they turned out? The steam clears. <gasps> There are Amy's perfect bow. They are not too small. They are not too big. They have just the right amount of filling and they do not leak. They are soft and fluffy and so, so delicious. Amy eats one and then another. And then she eats one of her not so perfect bow. But you know what? It tastes just as good. Maybe it didn't have to be so perfect to taste delicious. Oh, and look what she did. What does it look like Amy did for her classmates at school? Does it look like she has a box with some of her bow in there? Can you tell that there looks like she's giving them, everybody, a chance? Oh, even maybe a teacher? Oh, the kitty got one too. Wow. And look, there's Amy Wu. She looks very happy. The end. And there is a bow breaking open with its deliciousness. So I hope you enjoyed our story today, Amy Wu and the Perfect Bow by Kat Zhang illustrated by Charlene Shua, and um, I will look forward to reading to you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.